Okay, so let's have this topic. So for this arithmetic and geometric sequence, then we have this problem. So find the number of terms in the sequence. So for this number of terms, n is the unknown. Then for this given sequence, so first, we need to check if there is a common difference. So from 5 to 8, the difference is 3. And from 8 to 11, the difference is 3. So therefore, since this sequence has a common difference, then this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. And for arithmetic sequence, this is the formula. So we have a sub n equals a sub 1, that's the first term, then plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. Then for this given, this is the first term, the a sub 1, the second term, the a sub 2, and the last term, the a sub n. So we have now the first term or a sub 1 is positive 5. Then a sub n, that's positive 254. Then the common difference. So we can find the common difference using this equation. So that's a sub 2 minus a sub 1. And a sub 2 is 8 minus a sub 1 is 5, so the common difference is positive 3. Then to solve for n, the number of terms, so from this formula, so just substitute now all the given values. So for a sub n, that's 254, then equals a sub 1, that's 5, then plus the quantity of n, this one is the unknown, minus 1 times the common difference, that's positive 3. Then to simplify, so we need to transpose this positive 5 to the other side, so this becomes to 5, 4, minus 5. Then equals, multiply this 3 times n, this is 3n, then negative 1 times 3, this one is negative 3, then simplify this 254 minus 5, so 254 minus 5, this is 249, then we need to transpose this negative 3 to the other side. So this becomes positive 3, then equals 3n. Then this 249 plus 3, this is equal to 252, then equals 3n. And to solve for n, or the number of terms, so divide both sides by this number, so divide by 3, divide by 3, cancel, so we have now the number of terms equals this 252 divided by 3, so we have 252 divided by 3 equals, so that's 84. So the number of terms is equal to 84. So the given sequence has 84 terms. Then for this given, so to find the number of terms, observe that this sequence is a geometric sequence because there is no common difference. Then using the geometric sequence formula so this is a sub n equals a sub 1 times the common ratio to the power n minus 1
Then from this given, so this is a sub 1, the first term, a sub 2, the second term, and the last term is a sub n. So we have now a sub 1, so the first term is positive 8. Then a sub n, the last term, that's 32,768. Then to find the common ratio, so using this equation, so we have a sub 2 over a sub 1. Then a sub 2 is 32 over a sub 1, that's 8. Then simplify, so we have the common ratio equals 32 divided by 8, that's positive 4. So the common ratio is positive 4. Then to find now the number of terms for this geometric sequence from this formula. So substitute now all the values. So we have now a sub n and that's 32,768. So 32,768 then equals a sub 1, that's 8, then times the common ratio, that's 4, to the power n, this is the unknown, the number of terms, minus 1. Then to simplify, so we need to divide both sides by this number, so divide by 8, so we can cancel now this 8. And this 32,768 divided by 8 to 32,768 divided by 8 equals that's 4,096. So this is 4,096 then equals. So this is 4 to the power n minus 1. Then this time to solve for the number of terms, we need to rewrite this 4096 with base 4 because the base on the other side is equal to 4, then to the power n minus 1. So to find the exponent of this 4, so we're going to use a trial and error using the calculator so if we have 4 to the power 3 that's equal to 64 and if 4 to the power 5 that's 1024 then for 4 to the power 6 that's 4096 so this 4096 is equal to 4 to the power 6. So this is 4 to the power 6. So since we have now the same base, that's 4. So this time we can equate now this exponents. So that's equal to 6, then equals n minus 1. And to solve for n, transpose this negative 1. So this becomes 6 plus 1 equals n. So therefore, n or the number of terms is equal to 7. So this given sequence has 7 terms.